Glenn the Ball Chef and this evening I'm going to put together one of my favorite steak recipes. It is Steak Oscar and it's the quintessential what I call surf and turf type recipe. It incorporates both steak and seafood uh, out of this world folks. It really is. You got to give it a try and I'm going to show you just how easy this is to make at your home. So let's get started. Okay, this is a beautiful piece of uh, filet, uh, nicely marbled, uh, about the entire loin. I hand trimmed it. I'm cooking alone this evening, and I'm going to just simply season this up with some cracked black pepper, probably about 10 rotations, we'll say, and uh, just a pinch of uh, coarse kosher salt that I'll rub right in there and uh, we'll do the flip on this and do the same thing to the other side we'll pin uh, rotations of the cracked black pepper and again a little bit a uh, pinch of the uh, kosher coarse sea salt will go right onto our fillet that's all the spices we're gonna do and we're just gonna let this sit out here for about 15-20 minutes, bring it up to room temperature, and then we'll throw it out on the uh, grill. All right, we've got a grill up to uh, about 450 degrees. We'll put that steak right up on there. We'll let that cook there for about uh, six or seven minutes. We want a pink center on this, medium rare. We'll come back for the uh, flip here in a minute. All right, our next step is we're going to take about uh, six spears. Just the tips of some uh, fresh asparagus. We're going to throw that into this uh, slightly salted water and uh, blanch this uh, asparagus off for uh, about a minute, minute and a half. We'll come. All right, this asparagus is cooked off nicely here. We'll just remove that from the uh, boiling water. And now we're going to take four snow crab legs that you're you thawed uh, and these are already cooked so we're just basically warming them up and we'll just keep those in the water here for, for just a minute or two and uh, put these uh, little critters here uh, just warm up a smidge Bring this water back up to a bowl and they should be about ready to pull out of here. Alright, we're going in for the big flip there. Oh, nice little cross marks on there. Seared off beautifully. Uh, let's let this go a little bit uh, longer, about five, six minutes. This is a thick piece of meat here, folks. Alright, our next step is we're going to take these uh, crab legs and uh, for presentation's sake, we want to try to get nice complete pieces of crab. Let's take this fork. I'll just run it right along this crab leg. And this should crack open into a nice piece of snow crab. If all is to go out. We'll do the same technique for presentation, make these look nice, and I'll cut up all of the uh, shells off these crab legs and prop them up. Alright, our star attraction has come off the grill. We're going to take our blanched asparagus and we're going to lay those down right on top of this nice fillet. Into that. We'll top this with a little bit of hollandaise sauce. See the recipe for this on my uh, channel there. Just a smidge right on top of that. And then what we want to do is we're then going to crown this off with some of our snow crab legs, like such. Let's go take this over and give it the old taste test. And there, my friends, is the finished product. 
the steak Oscar oh my god that looks good all of that nice piece of marbled filet mignon asparagus hollandaise sauce topped with some snow crab fit for a king thanks for watching I'm gonna get into this thing right now it's a dinner for one as always thanks for watching subscribe if you like what you see give me a like if you like it and always bon appetit now I'm back uh, I'm gonna tell you what I've eaten a lot of steaks I just smashed this steak Oscar down and I'll tell you without a doubt the best steak I've ever eaten in my life you gotta try this recipe folks it's that good